back two days in a row with the vlog so i'm feeling very confident about the content that's being created and uh, i want to keep this momentum going um, today i want to focus on a men's cut now the men's cut that we're going to do is one of my clients so it's going to be a very salon friendly cut um, nice kind of taken in on the sides and then shorter but with a lot of texture on the top i have a really cool texturizing technique that i'm going to show you guys called channeling if you haven't ever done that before um, i know that a lot of clients out there ask for it so if you didn't know what it was now you will um, if you did know what it is it's a good little refresher to use the technique also, um, he has a pretty uh, wicked calic in the back of his head, so I want to show you guys how to make that look more um, uniform, kind of make it go together. So a lot of things going to happen in this uh, haircut today. Make sure you post in the comments below. Let me know what you think. Uh, I love seeing those comments. Here we go with our technique. Thanks for watching. There's a lot of texture in it, yeah. which I think I like. It's, I think it just went a little more style. Okay. But you Something. like the kind of shorter with texture. I like, I like it, I like it longer, yeah. but like this length and more is good. I mean, even okay. a little shorter was okay, but okay. What about on the sides? Um, this should be a little, yeah, a little cleaner. tighter, and especially back here. Okay. And you used to do this cool thing where you just followed my follow your hairline, hairline, and then match the other side. Okay. Because it's like weird. This top part. Do you want it to grow longer than it is? Maybe a little. A little bit? Just so, a little. So we'll just texturize that. Okay. Does that sound good? The sides will take in a little bit. Okay. Okay. Cool. All right, guys, so we're going to get Mark draped up. Thank you to MinervaBeauty.com for the capes. Uh, I love the quality of them. Uh, we're going to start off using our three guard on our Andis Master Series Clipper. Um, and I'm just going to work all the way up to the parietal ridge and then kind of slightly pull the clipper out as I get to the parietal ridge, which is going to build up that nice graduation line in the haircut. And I, what I want that graduation line to do is follow his head shape. So I wanted to keep a little bit of weight right at his recession point. You can see where it kind of uh, goes back just a little bit. So I wanted to leave that length in there so that when we style the hair, you know, it gives a little bit of a cover up at that point. But um, I also like the look of the style that way as well. Um, then I'm going to work the clipper through the back. Now, this is my three guard, like I said before. Um, I didn't want to go too much tighter than that because... If you look at Mark's, uh, the perimeter line of his haircut, it gets pretty weak and it also has some calyx. So um, he's got a lot of hair, but most of his hair is on the top of his head. Um, around the edges, it's definitely a completely different density. So I think that's something you'll find in a lot of uh, men's haircuts that you do. It's like you can really see that difference. In a women's cut, you can't really see it that much. But with a men's cut, you can definitely see that his density is a lot lighter around the edges. So just go through and work it. And now I'm gonna go in with my Mizutani uh, Solid. This is a blacksmith fit solid scissor. Uh, it's one of the newer scissors from Mizutani. It's titanium finish, so it's got that black look to it. Um, but it's a seven inch blade. I love this for scissor over comb. It's got a lot of power. And I'm just gonna go through and now blend that graduation that I created. So um, I like doing a lot of scissor detail work. Um, I go through with the clipper just to get uh, most of the work done, get my length the way that I want it. And then I go in and I customize it with the scissor. The difference for me uh, between a scissor and a clipper is a clipper is gonna kind of pass over a lot of hair at once, but it kind of rides each ridge of the head and a scissor is going to give you a little more fine-tuned detail because you're not cutting as much hair at once. So obviously I can work that comb around the ridges of his head, keep the balance feel to the haircut, uh, and that's pretty much it for that. Now I'm going to go through and I'm going to uh, saturate the hair and start working the back crown area. Now I'm going in with my Mizutani DB20 scissor. This is a 5.7 inch scissor. I love this for any precision cutting that I do. 
um, and I'm going to go through and work the crown. Now I start in the very middle and then I work my way out to just behind the ear and you'll notice that I push the hair on whatever side I'm on, I push it towards the center. That keeps a consistent line for um, my guide as I work my way around. Um, a lot of people just kind of pull up men's hair and start cutting at it and they might do a lot of point cutting to blend it. Um, I still like to have a precision feel in a lot of the men's cut. Now we're going to go through the top and I'm going to do a complete point cut to create that texture. Um, if you remember in the consultation that I uh, kind of showed you guys, the reason I wanted to show you that is because first off, it shows how kind of confusing it can get listening to somebody talk about what they want with their hair. Um, so you got to really kind of pry those questions out. But he said that he didn't really want to lose a lot of length on top. So what I'm doing is just adjusting the top. So I'm going through and creating a lot of texture with the point cutting, but then kind of rounding off the edges because I don't want to square off his head too much. I want it to kind of flow with his head shape. So we just continue throughout the top of the head. At the very end, right around his forehead, I overdirect it back just to pull a little extra length into the front. Um, that goes with his style. I like their, I don't like it to all be the same length throughout the entire top. And then I go through and I blow dry. You'll notice I do a lot of blow drying with my men's cuts because it's just like a women's cut. You want to finish it. You want to blow dry the hair so it sits the right way so that you know that your cut um, has the right balance to it and uh, you don't have certain weight lines in there. So now I'm going to go through with my T trimmer. This is the Andis cordless T trimmer. Um, I'm gonna go through and really just sharpen up the edges. So just going uh, around each part of the haircut, I want it to be nice and clean looking. Um, again, it's he's got a weaker hairline. So as I'm going through and around, uh, I make sure that I put those nice sharp lines into it um, to really make it stand out. Now we're gonna tackle the cowlick. This is probably the most important part of of Mark's haircut and probably the most challenging part is to blend the calic to make sure that it just looks as natural as possible. Um, so I go through, I take it as short as I can. I don't fight the way that the hair wants to lay. I think that's the biggest thing is when you go in there, you don't want to lift the hair and push the hair where it doesn't want to be because no matter what, it's going to pop up and look like that. So I go through it. Now you can also see that it kind of grows out longer in different places. So what I do is I go through and I just bring the hairline up just a little bit to match kind of the length that we're at. You're still going to see some different um, patches in there. That's There's nothing you can do about that. I don't want to take it up too far. So I just try to keep it as natural looking as possible and work through there. And what you'll notice is I will go in and I'll, t I'll keep taking that part a little bit shorter, but you can see that it's starting to blend already. So now we're going in with our three guard closed and that's the blade as short as it can go. And I'm just going to go through and, and just tighten up right around that back area. Like I said, I wanted to take that calic a little bit shorter. And now I'm going to go in with my two guard open. That's the longest that a two guard can go and just um, take that a little bit tighter. All right, so now we're going to go in with our texturizing technique. This is called channeling. I'm using my Mizutani Puffin. You can use a regular cutting scissor for this. You just want to make sure that you open and close the blade as you slide it across. What you're doing is creating little pieces throughout the haircut and creating a ton of texture. It's a really fun technique. It's something that guys get addicted to. They want it every single time they come in. And now we're going to do another kind of point cutting technique where I take my hand, I lift up the hair, and as it falls out of my hand, I point cut through it, just adding some more channels and different uh, peaks and valleys in the haircut to create that textured look at the end. So that's a pretty good look at it. You're not cutting a lot of hair doing this. Um, you just want to go in and just take out some light pieces. So last little detail work around that calic. So finishing up Mark's haircut with the Type Z dual texture scissor just helps blend any weight lines that I see at the very end of the haircut. Um, and that's pretty much it. I hope you guys like the cut. Definitely let me know in the comments what you think. And thanks for watching. Awesome. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm 
All right, guys, and like always, you know what to do. If you made it this far in the video, let me know in the comments below. I love seeing uh, how far you made it because I think the true dedicated hairdressers are gonna make it all the way to the end of the videos. So thank you so much for watching. Again, hit the like button, hit the share button. Let's grow this thing. All I'm asking for you guys to do is share this video with one friend. Share it with one friend that's a hairdresser so we can keep this thing growing. Thank you so much for the support. Go over to fsesocial.com, download the app, and let's get our conversation going. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you on the next video. Thanks.